A new construction project on VCU's campus is causing some traffic concerns. Today, sidewalks and lanes on North Belvedere and West Broad Street closed, and they'll stay that way for a while. Now, pedestrians, cyclists, and even drivers will need to make adjustments to their routes. Chantel Davis is in Richmond with the story. It's a heavily populated area full of cars and pedestrians and even cyclists traveling along the intersection of North Belvedere and West Broad Street. Now the area is surrounded with orange cones and signs all to warn people of the new traffic pattern expected to be here for a number of years. I was a little nervous when I heard about it. A new traffic pattern near VCU's campus causes concern for those who frequently travel in the area. It's a little, I mean, it's pretty concerning. I think just because the traffic here is already super bad as a pedestrian and a cyclist, it's pretty dangerous with how fast cars go. The sidewalk along North Belvedere is closed off, and so are the lanes on West Broad Street, closest to the construction site of the new CoStar Center for Arts and Innovation. The university says the new building will bring together many of VCU's nationally recognized arts and innovation programs under one roof. But the project is not expected to be finished until late 2027, meaning several years of construction headaches in the area. That does stress me out. I mean, imagining just how long it's going to be happening, just seeing kind of the traffic today, it's already been feeling like tensions are pretty high with drivers. So imagining that spanning three years is very stressful. Both Jasmine and Hannah work across the street from the area. They tell me since the cones have been in place, they can tell the difference in traffic behaviors. Um, yeah, just greater instances of people kind of having road rage, like honking at other drivers. Maybe they're cutting other drivers off and that's causing issues. And I can imagine that leading to more accidents in the area. When you're in the area, you'll still notice detour signs and changes to the bus stop. Hannah, who rides her bike to work, tells me the new traffic setup will change her normal travel routine. I'm probably going to take a really long way to work now just to avoid this area altogether. Now VCU says they will work with the city and GRTC to mitigate traffic. In Richmond, Chantel Davis, 12 on your side. But first alert.